Hi, welcome back to another Princess Connect video. My name is Lace and today we're going to be talking about my top 10 regrets since launch. Top 10 regrets. Okay, I know it sounds like a lot of regrets and I hope this doesn't hurt my credibility as a content creator. I mean, guys, I'm sure everybody has some level of regret. Just hear me out. Hear me out here, guys. I guess the biggest takeaway from this video is for you guys who are starting now, please learn from these mistakes. But like for you guys who are playing still with me, the best way to make use of this is to do this if you make a new account or make alts or make like play on JP, stuff like that right honestly since starting this game i'm now running like four or five accounts i think one on jp and four on global which is nutty honestly i'm burning out a little bit but since starting those accounts i've been able to actually you know like not have many if any regrets it's hard to regret on jp to be honest all right i'm going to stop stalling and let's get into each regret and see what i could have done better so here is my first regret it's arena oh my gosh i really really wish i really really wish i refreshed to get the first time bonus in each of the arenas what I mean by refreshing is that I know a lot of people, especially at launch, they had the right idea, which was that they actually refreshed a whole bunch, got really, really, really strong and claimed the first prize for Arena really fast. New bracket had just opened. The game had just launched, to be honest. I only joined like the game on maybe like a couple of hours after it launched, if not maybe. Oh no, day two. I joined day two. Joining on day two was more than enough time to actually get into that first place in Arena to claim all of those first time rewards. Now I can't even get close to it anymore. Like these guys are all nutty. Everyone in this bracket is so 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 strong same goes for princess arena i'm getting absolutely destroyed i can't i can't even come close there's just so many gems at stake here it's 31k per arena so that's about like 62k and 62k that's a spark and a half and i know like when it resets you get some of it back but you also do miss out on a lot of it i think the best case scenario is that eventually i'm gonna try to push for like a top 100 in pa and then call it quits i'll maybe lose like 1.5k worth of gems or something but yeah i think you guys get the point with this one i just really wish i pushed harder at the start refreshed way more and got those early early gems because now i'm actually so stressed that i can't get them i probably won't be able to to be honest and this kind of leads me to my second regret i really really wish that i waited for the new brackets to open on my alts i really camped out the brackets and oh my god it's just so so much easier i'm just rolling over shit like no tomorrow the first bracket especially it's just so sweaty like everyone is just so freaking good in this bracket and i it's just so incredibly hard if i'd made it into like the second or third bracket like even then i would have still been like very competitive for clan battle but on top of that i would have also should you know i'd have a better chance at actually making that first place for battle arena mp arena like it's just so much harder now no guys the majority of my regrets are not in arena there are a lot of clan battle regrets as well and that brings me to point three which is that i didn't focus on clan battle purely and i <laughs> I kind of have a rationale for this one. Came into this game thinking I'd be pretty semi-competitive. I just, you know, I just maybe I'd go for top 50 or something. I'd try to do decently in arena, do decently in clan battle, maybe even top 100, something like that, right? But then I played my first clan battle and I was addicted as hell. We got 12 and I feel like 10 is within reach. It was then and there that I really, really wish that I just focused on clan battle. You guys, it's really true that you do have to pick between clan battle and arena. I thought, you know, I was, my main thing was going to be a content creator. And as a content creator, I'd want to just like, chill and not devote like an insane amount of time to both clan battle and arena or like spend thousands of dollars i ended up really falling in love with clan battle and it's just uh it's really fun but it's also like it's this constant battle for me right all this clan battle prep has taken so much time away from me that i would be making these videos for you guys yeah not focusing on clan battle purely has made me farm on nodes that i shouldn't have been farming redeem characters that i shouldn't have been redeeming just stuff like that and it kind of leads me into my next point point four which is not focusing purely on kauri if i just focused on kauri look at her there she's a 30 shard at three stars i think i would actually have a four star kari by now again this builds onto the regret of not focusing on clan battle purely but who knew that i'd be so addicted to it like i said if i'd been buying out kari since the very start i would have a four star kari instead my dumbass went into like full despair mode because like i was getting dumpstered by mage melt and i started farming hearts and a another alternative to going kari 4 is kari 3 and susana 3 i really wish i'd done either of those things kari 4 or kari 3 and susana 3 Instead, I have a Hatsune now. Regret 5, and it's that I wish I juiced Akari earlier. Akari is just so freaking good, especially against this Miyako meta. She's also exceptionally cute. And just know that if I juiced Akari earlier, I would have been able to deal with all of those Miyakos earlier, and I probably would have been able to hold a higher arena spot. Higher arena spots means that I could be generating more coins for that Tamaki or for that Monica or whoever, right? I also struggled a lot against those freaking turtles in the story mode because they could only take like a lot of damage from magic. I was running like 
Makoto and uh, running a whole bunch of other physical units and I just could not tear that stuff down. I swear to God, those rock turtles, like they still haunt me. Akari would have been the answer to that and Akari would be the answer to Miyako. All right, next we're going to get into my sixth regret, which is this one over here. I know, I know Hiyori's not that bad. A couple of freaking clan mates actually went four star, probably going to go five star Hiyori. But I really wish that I didn't start building a two star Hiyori. Like those tokens, those coins could have been used elsewhere. Those Hiyori shards could definitely have been Monica shards instead or Tamaki shards instead. If I had Tamaki shards instead, my Tamaki would be five star by now. I personally don't like Hiyori too much. I'm a big fan of Eriko or like Ray and a couple of the other guys. And not having that five star Tamaki just really hindered me as well. I don't think those coins or shards would have made a difference these days, but like earlier on, I mean, alrighty, where's my seventh regret? Here we go, Monica. So honestly, this one was kind of out of my control, kind of not. What happened is that I built Monica from shards and I love Monica, right? She's like, she's my poster girl. My problem was that I shouldn't have built her because what happened is that I actually summoned like almost like a few hours later and I freaking picked up a Monica dupe. Instead, I could have a four star Monica. Now, the real lesson that you learn from this is that for me personally, I really, really like the higher stars on the existing units that you have. I personally don't think that divine fragments are worth it in this point of the game. I think that having an extra star up on Monica is way more worth. Later on in the game, when your team is actually already stacked, yeah, you're going to want all the divine frags you can get. But especially in the early game, and I've said this in one of my earliest videos, like I didn't know if I would go for the, the divine amulets or like the memory shards. And I now I would say I would go for the memory shards every single time so that I can like four star or five star the Monica or the Nozomi. What made it worse was that dupe Monica actually came from the jump start, which just made me extra salty. But to be honest, I wouldn't have known that I'd get a dupe from her. It's just that the learning here is to wait until you know you're not going to pull for a while. All right, let's hop into our next regret, which is the hard mode farming. So I really wish that I farmed the right shards from the very, very start. And what I mean by that is that I wish I had like farmed the CB focused ones and the dungeon focused ones. For example, if I was to start again, I would farm the cockroach shards only up to three star and no more. I personally think that the most effective way to spend stamina into cockroach is to get her at three star. Even her UE kind of sucks. Kurumi, Aoi are an easy skip. If we go to the next one, Ray, I really wish I'd farmed Ray from the start. The main rationale for farming Ray is that she was a fast, easy, early three star. With two nodes, she'll get a big bond level bonus at three stars and she'll outperform a lot of the other units. But Yui, I wish I farmed her earlier and up to three stars only as well. Same as Kokoro, except for the reason of dungeon. I believe her UE also kind of sucks as well. And actually speaking of that, the reason why I mentioned this is because I actually farmed more on Kokoro. I wish I'd stopped at three stars and farmed something else. That stamina really would have helped me elsewhere, especially now when I'm struggling to aid three some units. Saren, I kinda, I kinda don't have regrets farming. So I actually pulled a Saren and I decided to go for four star Saren. Four star Saren just doesn't really make a difference to be honest, but I did it anyway, cause I'm a casual filthy pleb. <laughs> and as you can see here, I'm still doing it to be honest. Moving on, let's have a look. Oh, Pekarin. Okay, I really, really wish that I farmed a three star Pekarin. The reason is, is because I really value tanks in arena now, especially for P arena. Typically what happens is my team three is left with Lima and Kuka. And because I don't have the appropriate units to make a good comp that involves Lima, like Lima kind of just dies and that's it. Most of the time, I just really wish that Lima was Pekarin instead. But Pekarin at two stars is just not enough. So that's why I really needed her at three. I've now gotten Pekarin at three, but I'm just scrambling to get the resources for CB first before I focus on her for an arena unit. Mimi is a really, really interesting one. I really like Mimi and she is, I would farm her again. I unfortunately didn't start farming her until like a month ago, but it was all good because I actually pulled her and then I got her to three star, especially considering she got a second node in the newest area. I really think that she is worth it to farm combined with the fact that there is the little lyrical adventures, I think coming very, very soon. What that means is that I'm actually looking towards like a four star, maybe potentially maybe a five star Mimi. I don't know if I'll be able to do it by CB3, but CB4 for sure. Sure. All right, if I move on, Kokoro, I've already gone through her. Misaki, I haven't been farming and I don't regret that. Ninon is one that I do regret, yet I still farm. Ninon is like pure PvP. I wish this was like a pure clan battle account. I just shouldn't have farmed her and I still shouldn't. Honestly, I'm regressing back into my like casual kind of phase and this is where we're at now. I right, keep going. Uh, Kurumi, no farm. Mifuyu, no farm. Shiori, I've been farming from the start. No regrets there. Yui, I've already talked about. Mahiru, I, I wouldn't farm her. And Shizuru, I shouldn't be farming. Except for the fact that I keep getting dumpstered by Reno comps, which is really annoying. It's just that I actually don't have enough units for the coverage to beat like the team one and arena comp. Izuru would really, really help me with that. And I'm actually almost there, I think. Uh, Yeah, 96. 
But yeah, for a CB focus, I would not touch Shizuru like with a 10 meter pole. At this point in time, I haven't seen her pop up in any of the Clan Battle 2 videos. She's definitely a hard pass for Clan Battle players, but for Arena players, I would definitely pick her up. Moving on, you already know how I feel about Pekarin. Eriko and Shinobu, I really wish I started farming Eriko earlier. I honestly think that Eriko is one of the highest damage dealers without UE even. Obviously, she can't compare to the Archers who are just so, so strong, but Eriko herself, she is, I reckon she is a beast. Everyone knows that these two become even more bigger beasts when the UE comes out, but I, I think that Eriko right now is still really, really good. I'm personally not a massive fan of Shinobu even now. I'm just farming her just because like I'm pre-farming for UE. But for these two, I just really wished that I started farming earlier. Next, we've got Ray. You already know how I feel about Ray, And these two, I like them, but I'm not going to farm them. And I haven't farmed them for a very long time. CB player skip all players skip. Next we've got Aoi. You could consider her if you're an arena player for UE. And we've got the Mimi and the Saren. So that kind of sums up my hard shard regrets. Oh, that was a long one, but I hope that was kind of worth it for you guys. All right, my next regret is pretty interesting. I just wish that I'd started an ult to PvP earlier. If I'd done that, I would have made it very clear that one account was clan battle only and one account was like PvP only. This account actually has Hatsune and Anna already without farming the event, but it just started way too late. I wish I could have gotten Hatsune to four star. I've been climbing arena reasonably fast but i've just not been refreshing fast enough to be able to keep up with the bots at this point i really should and this is like one of my other clan members and he's done the same thing except he's actually made it to second he's gotten first actually for his first time gem bonus so that's good on him man but yeah if i was to re-roll for an ult for pvp i would re-roll for io and anna or hatsune sorry somebody in the comments actually corrected me it's actually eo so the reason i would farm for eo is because eo is actually only available via the clan battle store which is a disgustingly hard currency to come by. If you can roll for Eo and pick up one of the mages as well, you can actually get the last mage from P Arena. You've also got Akari coming in hot from Dungeon and I just think like, that's Mage Melt. And once you've built them all up, you should be almost unstoppable unless you come across like Ninon comms or whatever. But at that point in time, you should be able to deal with them pretty easily. So yeah, to sum it up, I wish I had an ult to PvP so that I could focus purely on PvP on this account and then clan battle on the other account. Alright, this is my last regret and it's an interesting one. It's that I wish I started on JP earlier. I knew about this game from day one that it launched on JP. I knew that side games would be running it. I knew that it was going to be a good game. But I just kept telling myself like, oh no, I'll just play when it comes to global. I'll just play when it comes to global. And it took freaking three years to come to global. With that being said though, JP is so much fun today. I don't know if it would have been fun like, you know, three years ago when it started. I would have gotten all of the clairvoyance or whatever. But at this point, like this is my account right now. I'm only like level like 51 maybe. Yeah. I'm just building up this account so that I can showcase you guys a couple more things before things actually come to global. I know it's been really hard visualizing a lot of things that I talk about, especially like the events guide where I just kind of described the events and I didn't have any footage to back it up. I can now just show like everything. For example, when Lunar Tower comes out, I'll just like have, I already have it unlocked and I can show you guys some actual footage. So that's the purpose of my JP account and one of the five accounts that I'm maintaining. All right, this video has gotten freakly long. I'm going to wrap it up here. Do you guys have any regrets? Like if you do, let me know because I, ugh, I'm sure there are regrets. With that being said, I'm going to leave you guys with a secret message. No regrets. If you guys could drop that secret message down in the comments below, I would really appreciate it. It means that you've made it to the end of the video and it just really means a lot to me because I've spent a lot of time on these guys. All right, with that being said, well, there's nothing left to be said except if you've enjoyed this video or this video has helped you, consider liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing, etc. Come join the Discord if you're feeling a little lonely. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.